Hi, my name is Pastor Frank, and today I wanted to do a video about the true gospel of Jesus Christ. I get asked so often, uh, what does the true gospel mean? Uh, people hear it all the time, oh, the true gospel, the true gospel, but apparently many people don't even know what it means. And that's important because that is the foundation of our faith. So today what I wanted to do was a video basically that explains this. Now, we know in the book of Genesis, in the book of Genesis, everything that God creates or he does, he said, and it was good. Uh, salvation was accomplished for a fallen people through the life, death, resurrection, and ascension of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 20, verse 9, the prophet said this, If I do not speak forth this message, then in my heart it becomes like a burning fire shut up in my bones, and I was weary of holding it back, and I could not. The Apostle Paul says this in the New Testament, in the book of Corinthians, in chapter 9, verse 16, he stated, Woe is me if I do not preach the gospel. So let me go on and explain then what the true gospel is. As part of the Father's good and eternal divine plan, the eternal Son who is equal with the Father and is the exact representation of his nature, willingly left the glory of heaven and was conceived by the Holy Spirit in the womb of a virgin and was born the God-man, Jesus of Nazareth. As a man, he walked on this earth in perfect obedience to the law of God. In the fullness of time, men rejected and crucified him. On the cross, he bore man's sin, suffered God's wrath, and died in man's place. In other words, he paid the penalty for our sins. On the third day, God raised him from the dead. This resurrection is the divine declaration that the Father has accepted his son's death. In other words, his sacrifice, dying on the cross for our sins, was accepted when he was now uh, at the right hand of the throne of God. So uh, he accepted his son's death as a sacrifice for sin. Jesus paid the penalty of man's disobedience, satisfied the demands of justice, and appeased the wrath of God. For 40 days after the resurrection, the Son of God ascended into the heavens and sat down at the right hand of the Father and was given glory, honor, and dominion over all. There in the presence of God, he represents his people and makes requests to God on their behalf. All who acknowledge their sinful, helpless state, or in other words, their bankrupt spiritual state, their spiritual bankrupt state, and throw themselves upon Christ, God will fully pardon. He will declare them righteous and reconcile them unto himself. This is the gospel and of Jesus, this is the gospel of God and of Jesus Christ, his son. So that basically is the gospel of Jesus Christ in a nutshell. Okay, so for those who don't understand the gospel, you can uh, watch this video over and over again until you understand it. And uh, perhaps you can share this with unbelievers or even believers that may not even know it. Because I talk to many believers and I ask them if they're familiar with the word of God. And they say yes. And then I ask them, could you explain to me what the gospel of Jesus Christ is? And many of them don't even know how to do that. So I'm hoping that this video will bless you. I'm hoping that you will share it with many. Share it on Facebook. Uh, share it on Instagram, on all social social uh, media networks. But um, more importantly, learn the gospel of Jesus Christ because we are called to not only to preach the gospel, but to disciple all nations, okay? And that's important that you do know the foundations of our faith. And many people don't know that. So please, I hope this video blesses you. I hope you really get to study it and understand what the true gospel of Jesus Christ means because many of you out there, they do not know that. So God bless you. This is Pastor Frank. Uh, I'm going to continue the series on repentance. As many of you know, I've done two videos out of eight. And I'll be uh, following up with uh, more videos on uh, repentance, on the eight traits of repentance. God bless you all.